Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and you're watching yet another beer review. Thanks a bunch for joining me. Smash that thumbs up button in the face, and let's get into it, shall we? For the beer of the today, something kind of special showed up by a local LCBO. This year's version of Kentucky Bastard Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout by the Nickelbrook Brewing Company in Burlington, Ontario, 11.9% ABV. Yeah. Yeah. But $12.95, I think it costs. So $13 basically. So not a cheap bottle of beer. It's not a big bottle of beer. But if it goes the way it usually does, it's going to be a very good bottle of beer. And I neglected to make sure I had anything on hand to cut through this wax. Because I am indeed actually look right there. I randomly have that. So if I can do this and not gouge myself, uh, that should be good right there. They got the instructions on the box that say like, pour under warm water and soften the wax and then blah, 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 blah. The lady from Nickelbrook at a beer festival is literally the one that taught me this trick. That's all you need to do. Gouge out a little area right below where the cap is so you can get your bottle opener into there and a little bit of force. There you go. Open. It's kind of hilarious because the first few times I had wax top bottles, I had a serious issue getting into them. Uh, how things have changed. Um, this is only rinsed, not washed from last night. It's my first beer of the, uh, of the day. I usually wash it. You know what? It's going to happen. Whatever. Dirty Glass Mafia is going to come after me. I'm going to put out a hit. Although, actually, I don't see any bubbles. That's fine. <laughs> Sneaky. That is boozy smelling. I feel like this is flammable. It smells like chocolate kerosene or something. Carolat? Chocosine? Let's give it a shot. That is decadent. So chocolatey. A little bit boozy, but not, not really. Not as much as the smell. Very smooth. Very thick. Velvety. Roasty. Yeah, let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. That's it. It's, Tis a good year for the bastard. Oh yeah, that's glorious. Um, we got some ingredients on this box, I think, don't we? Some stuff written. Uh, the red on black is not the best thing when it comes to contrast and reading. And the fact that I don't really have any good light. What does this even say? Palpable aromas of dark fruit and toasted oak are married to flavors of rich chocolate and molasses. One year spent maturing in Kentucky bourbon barrels makes this decadent imperial stout finish smooth with warming alcohol. Yeah, I, I apologize. It's... See, see how small and weird that typeface is? Uh, water, malted barley, malted wheat, oats, hops, yeast, demerara sugar. And uh, yeah, it's funny I actually said decadent. It says decadent on here. Look at me knowing things. Special. Is there anything specifically different on here? I should have read the bottle. It's the same 
color, but this is like shinier or something. I can see that way easier. Malts in this are pale ale chocolate, dark chocolate, roasted barley, carafa special three, chocolate wheat, flaked wheat, and flaked oats. German Magnum Centennial and Nugget are the hops, and California Ale is the yeast. And all you need to know as far as the date on this is the year, which is right there, 2021. Although there is actually, I've never seen that before. Look at that. It was packaged on the 1st of this month, or last month, I guess it'd be. 11th, I'm assuming day, month, year, as it should be. I can't see it being packaged in January and just now being released. That would be weird. But yeah, it'd be recommended this year. Um, I'm going to slap a pretty solid nine on that. And if you've had this beer, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I believe I found it on Untapped. Only 18 ratings overall of this year's version but 4.11 is the overall rating so it is being enjoyed yes i believe i peaked my microphone at one point there i'm not sure how um yeah start the conversation blah blah, blah. done thumbs up you like thumbs down didn't like that's a choice you get to make all by yourself appreciate some subscriptions and some bell notifications and i'll be back with some of this pretty freaking soon peace out I wonder now how this year's Cafe del Bastardo will be. They've actually put some coffee in it this year.